many birds laid eggs down there and now the eggs are underwater. This is spring. <laughs> kind of crummy timey. There are a lot of ducks and geese around here. I don't know if they've laid their eggs yet or not. So it's 9.01 a.m. Pacific Daylight Saving Time, Wednesday, April 10th, 2019. I'm in Salem, Oregon. I'm in a Rhode Island Park. I just crossed over this new pedestrian bridge. Can't remember the name. Mostly because I don't care what the name is. But anyway. So I was here a week ago. This is all dry land except for on the other side of those blackberries. These green plants here, those are uh, mostly Himalayan blackberries. But yeah, this is dry land, right? Well, okay, it wasn't particularly dry back then, but it was technically dry. Anyway. Looking down, I can't even see through the, the dirt to see bottom to see how deep it is. I remember it was pretty. Here we are, this is the paved trail. This trail's only a couple years old. It goes through Mendel Brown Island. It's paved for, you know, people, bicyclists, rollerbladers, roller skaters, etc. can use it. I think maintenance vehicles use it too, so. Being paved is pretty nice. It's one of the nicer trails here. Even when the water level's low, we're not supposed to go off trail here, because this is a wildlife refuge and, uh, you know, protect the animals from being harassed by the pe people's pets and so on. Dogs are allowed here. But anyway, look at that. I think that's actually a tree sticking up out of the water there. Crazy. So, there's railroad over there. It only gets a few trains a day. I'm not expecting a train anytime soon. You can see it's a few feet higher than we are, so it might still be operating. I don't know. I heard farther south of here in that Albany area, the flooding is worse. So, it's possible that the railroad is affected. I don't really have any inside information about that. There's a decent wind from the south, too. It's not particularly warm here. It feels like it's only like 50 degrees Fahrenheit or less. Not freezing, obviously, but it's a bit cool for spring weather. It's not raining yet. It's supposed to rain in a couple of hours. So afternoon I am expecting a southbound train. It'll be raining by then so we'll see if you'll hear that long or not. It's ironic the pavement is nice and dry. I mean my feet aren't gonna get wet at all. So I do have wading boots but I'm not wearing them. They're not very comfortable to wear so I only wear them if I really need them. This water is filthy, so I wouldn't wade in it, you know, unless I was wearing wading boots. There we go. Okay, I'm almost to a high berm here. I'm going to stop the video there. What's interesting, it doesn't look like it's flooded on the other side. So that'll be a good place to take a break for this video. See, so see how there's a bit of a berm here. This is much older. They have these berms on purpose to control the floods a bit. Not allowed out there though. As you can see, now the trail's nice and high. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a quick swing around. It's not flooded over here. 
What's interesting must be the berm is working because I can see that water over there is much higher than the land over there. So the berm is doing its job of keeping the Willamette River somewhat out of the way. 